This is Scott with EffectiveDog.com, your Bay Area Canine Life Coach. I wear my MMIW mask, Murdered Missing Indigenous Women, to bring awareness to all the racial inequality that's going on, especially with our Indigenous folks. They need help, they need awareness. I'm gonna bring you some awareness about China Beach that I'm gonna post on here. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna read it out loud while we're reading this thing together. If I had the mask on, and you see me, I'm quiet. So those of you that are hearing impaired, I'm not gonna talk with the mask on. I'm gonna talk with the mask off. If you see me with the mask on, I'm not talking. So right now I wanna discuss Chinese immigrants, em em Americans, immigrants. They weren't even really Americans. They were immigrants at this time. Making money with the gold rush and I want to show you how far this camp was from Golden Gate Bridge, which is not even close enough to where everybody came over to get gold, get stuff sold. Downtown San Francisco, North Beach, all that whole area, the marina, Fisherman's Wharf, is still not close to this. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video now. Again, when this goes on, I'm quiet. China Beach. Since gold rush times, this cove was used as a campsite by many of the Chinese fishermen who worked in and around San Francisco Bay. Their efforts to supply the needs of a young city helped establish one of the most areas, the area's most important industrials and traditions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gift to the Henry and Diana Chung family, 1981. And if anybody else wants to try and read the lettering, feel free. I'll take a picture of it later. This camp wasn't by choice. This beautiful camp that everybody goes and, well, we can't see it from here. Everybody goes and hangs out at, which is now Sea Cliff area. That's Golden Gate Bridge. This is not where people came to uh, discover gold. Sacramento, Sutter's Mills, all the way to the right. People would come in, go to Fisherman's Wharf, would go to uh, the farmer's market that's out there where all the boats are at now. That's where it was established at. So not only did they have to walk, there was a train at one point that came onto this land out and around to go over towards eastern San Francisco. But they also had to walk take the train, and then come back at night. And this is where they camped. This is where they were forced to be at. This wasn't by choice. Look up California history towards anybody that is Chinese immigrant. And there's many towns, many, 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 many towns along the Delta in California that half the town was built by the Chinese. And they supplied opium dens, they supplied shovels and pitchfork, pitches, uh, all the mining tools for the miners, for the gold rush. Smart business, not allowed to do keep business in town. That's why you only hear one or two good Chinese businessmen. Think about that. That's Golden Gate Bridge. That's Golden Gate Bridge. You still have to go on the other side, around the corner, probably by like two or three miles to get to the where the where you where we were actually doing business. Think about all that stuff. This is Scott with EffectiveDog.com. Asian hate throughout California is deep. Let's stop it. Let's rethink. Let's learn our history.